In this video, I will be discussing Latvian grapes. Latvian braids are a very decorative element found in a lot of Scandinavian knitting, uh, as seen here on a Norwegian style mitten. They are usually worked in two or more colors and they are very three dimensional, as you can see here. They look complicated and they are a little fiddly to work, but they are really not that difficult. To begin, when working with two colors, you have to start with a base of color work. So my next braid is the dark color plus the light color. So for my foundation row, I need to work alternating stitches of the dark color and the light color. So I will do that around in all of my stitches as my setup round. So I have completed my setup round. Now I will begin the braid. To start, you bring both of your strands forward between the needles, like so. And the braid is worked by purling. So I will always be working the same color stitch as what is presenting. So my first stitch is this dark color. I will purl with the dark color. I'm using DPN, so it's a little bit fiddly here um, until I get, get started. Now, this braid um, is an arrow pointing to the right. So to get that look, you begin your first course of the braid. Every color is pulled from underneath the prior color. So I need the white, but I need to twist to get the white from under. Where's my needle? Okay, I need to get this needle out of the way. From under the dark color and pearl. And then the dark color from under the white and the pearl and so on. Always twisting. So I'm twisting clockwise and pearl. This needle is kind of in the way. Perfect. So I need the dark color, so I'm twisting. And so the, the yarns, your yarns that you are working with then are going to develop a twist. Don't worry about it. Just keep moving the twist away from your hands because the next course will be worked the opposite way and everything will untwist. So I'm always twisting, getting that color from under the prior color, like so. And you can sort of see it's creating this, this decorative line.
I will do this all the way around this cuff. Now, you can see I've got quite a lot of twist built up, but I'm just going to push that twist down as best I can to give myself room between these strands up here. Now, um, I'm since I'm working in the round, the first stitch of the next round, I work exactly the same way. Bring that color from under the prior color, like so. But now, the rest of these stitches, let me get situated, okay. Now, the rest of these stitches, I'm going to reverse the twist. So I want to bring the white strand from over. So I'm twisting the other way. I'm twisting counterclockwise and still purling. So you will gradually untwist all of this, the twist that you've built up. Okay, since I am working in the round, these ends will not join up precisely. There's a little bit of a jog there, but I've found the best, your best bet is to take the last stitch just worked, that strand, move it to the back. And then with this strand in front, purl that first stitch of the round, this color as is coming over and then bring it to the back to knit. So your next round will be just knitting with that single color. Like so. And what you end up with is this. So if you pull this apart, you can see the base stitches, and then you can see those little pearl bumps from that second row. But when it relaxes, everything pushes up, and it's very three-dimensional, and those kind of disappear. So those are Latvian braids. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.